Hello there, sorry from 17 once again. This is my Birth by Sleep Aqua Critical Mode walkthrough. This is Vanitas, our first clash, and I'm very curious to see how I do this because this was one of the first strategies that I used against him, and I have since then come up with some pretty decent ones, having fought him just a lot more. The things to bear in mind here, guys, you can levitate him, and once you levitate him, he will be susceptible to being hit by things. So try and float him and then hit him with things. If you're having trouble doing that and you don't want to do that, he is susceptible to ignite and poison. So in the combination of those two moves, you can do a lot of passive damage that he cannot dodge. And that is really important because this dude dodges everything and he's an asshole. He can cancel moves mid-attack, he can dodge all kinds of weird shit, and every so often you get him in something like that, which is pretty cool. Of course, if you can spell weaver the guy, if he's attacking you, he's not guarding, he's not dodging, he's not defending. You can do big damage, but you have to put your command deck in such a state that it's going to get you to that quite quickly. Which, with the looks of this, if I keep going, I might actually be able to do that. But this is a fight where physically attacking this guy can be very dangerous because he can do his whole turning into a clone and teleport behind you, Katsumi or Kasumi from Dead or Alive bullshit quite a lot. Uh, that move right there, when he jumps in the air and fires the, the dark electricity, is a great moment to hurt him. Same with the fireball. During that fireball animation, he is completely planted and vulnerable. So, that was really sloppy. Do not do what I did just then, folks. That could have been punished massively. And in a game, whoa, we've got the crazy blade charge. I do like this move. It really reminds me of, of Squall from Final Fantasy VIII, when he does the... Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Is it Blast Zone, I think it's called? The Limit Break. There's him spinning. Wow, that was a weird iframe or bad hit detection or something crazy. But it happened. But I should really be using spells here to try and buff up the, the Blade Charge so I can do the crazy finisher where you spin around a bunch. I don't know why I'm not doing that. Maybe I'm just too focused on two in the minute, but... You want to really try and get to that payoff because it's in full immunity and it deals damage and it could literally end this fight if done correctly. But I'm taking a few sloppy hits here, trying to get a little carried away. There's a counter, didn't work. There's him hitting me again. But you'll notice it's very fair. I've took a few hits, but I'm not dead. It's not like one mistake and you are dead, which could have been a lot worse. At times it feels like that, especially when you're doing it level one. This guy hurts a lot then, but for the most, it is a very doable encounter. Look, see that as he was landing? Because he can't do anything and he can't cancel it, I was able to prop him up, but I didn't cash it in well enough, which is a bit of a shame. I don't know what's happening there, wow. You'll notice I'm trying to wait for him to lead so that I can counter punch rather than initiate it. So this is one of those fights where the more aggressive you are, the worser I seemed to do. So it's entirely up to you how you choose to fight it, but that is a strategy that will get you through. Uh, but you're going to fight him quite a few times before you have a good understanding of how he plays, just because he's he's one of the hardest bosses in the game, and you fight him quite a lot, so I hope you get the rhythm down, because you're going to need it. So thank you for watching, and you take care now.